this is Phantom Duels here and today I'm gonna be doing what if Deku was betrayed part 2 so yeah so we start off the story in cl in classroom 1a Deku was looking at the window and saw all oh my coming in coming to coming to the classroom coming to the classroom yeah guys this happens two weeks later after Isuku got betrayed and came back to the and got and came back to school all my came in saying saying I am walking like a normal person as he as as Deku got pissed and said you are not walking like a normal person he said to all my all my he said to all my with an angry tone as all my was surprised and he's just surprised and stayed quiet for a little while and then and started to talk and and said today we are going to do hero versus villain as all my said to as all my said to put your hero costumes on as everyone as everyone put their he their hero costumes on as Deku got up and grabbed his suitcase and went to put his hero costume on and technically guys he came he came out to look like Kaneki so wait I'm gonna pause and show you a picture so this is how oh, this is how Isuku Madori looks like. Yeah, he looks like this with white hair but longer. And this is how his hero costume looks like. So he looks like this. Okay? As as everyone saw Isuku had a mask on that was covering one of his eyes. Nobody were, nobody in the class was saying anything about it. As they saw his clothes. Everyone was surprised that he was wearing a, that type of clothing. And All Might was too. As as All Might let it out all his thoughts and just came and just started saying. So the first group, the first group was the same as in the in, in the anime, but when it was his, but when it was Isuku's turn, uh, it's it was Madoria with Uro, Uraraka. As 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 all as All Might told. Madoria and Uraraka to go to the starting line of of here the fear versus villain as Uraraka tried to talk to to Isukupa she couldn't he didn't answer to any of her questions as everyone was really surprised that she that she was talking sorry guys how did I say bye to my father so okay let's go cut back to the anime as I was saying, she was starting, she wanted to talk to Isuku. Wait, guys. Sorry, my brother was disturbing me, so. As I cut back, she was trying to talk to Isuku, asking him, what happened, why was he, why, why was this, why was that? But he wasn't paying attention. His eye was, his eyes were closed as he was walking. As he didn't forget, he forgave them, but he didn't forgotten what happened to him. But... He forgave he forgave Momo and Mr. Arisawa because they believed in him. But as I said as I say, he forgave Momo and Mr. Arisawa and he was talking more to Momo than everyone else in the class. As a lot as a lot of the girls in the class were getting a bit jealous. As out of the sudden as all of the sudden Isuku stopped Stop and activated his eyes and cracked his finger and used one of his kagune to grab Uraraka and the other four to walk in the in the wall of the building and climbed it. As they reached the top, as they reached the top, Deku dropped Uraraka on on onto her feet and told her, "When I when I break the roof, you." When I break the roof, I will throw you to the bomb and hold on to her and hold on to it. As she said, okay. As he used his ka kagune to wrap it around his hand and broke through the roof and grabbed Uraraka and threw her to the to the bomb. As Deku jumped in top of Linda, Linda's back, and put the handcuffs on 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 him. Oh my, oh my. Was about to say the hero team wins. As Deku, as All Might grab, as Isuku gr helped the rock get off, get got, get off the bomb and said, 
And on my finally side, hero teams win. Uh, as Pakugo came saying, Daku, you stupid nerd. Why didn't you come and fight me? As Deku said in a deep voice, Bakugo, you always like forcing me to fight you. In a deep tone, as Bakugo stand there in fear of Deku's glare and deep tone, as he saw, as Deku saw a window on it and jumped out of the building, as Bakugo, Linda, and Uraraka were shocked that he jumped off. As they went to the window and looked through it and saw that Deku was jumping from building to building. As he reached, as he reached the the building where where all my and class one A were at. As everyone was surprised. Sorry guys, I have to go to something. Sorry guys, that was a shortcut. I needed to go somewhere else, or it's a lot of noise. As as everyone was surprised that Isuku made it back to the build, made it back to the building. Without worry. But he didn't say anything. He just went to a wall and sat on the floor sleeping on it. As, as yeah. everyone saw him sleeping and left them alone. Mm, a few hours later Momo Momo tap tap on his tap his head, tap his shoulder I mean. Tap his shoulder and tap his shoulder and told them to wake up as Izuku woke up and told them and told her and said oh hi Momo what do you need as Momo told them let's go everyone in class already left as Momo and Izuku went to class as everyone in class 1A were were waiting for my reaction from Izuku but he was just giving them a weird glare as when he was giving him, the, when he, they were giving, when Isuku was giving them the weird glare on the around the hallway, he started talking to Momo. They started laughing with each other. When they got to class, Mr. Aizawa, every Mr. Aizawa, everyone was shocked that Isuku was laughing. Mr. Aizawa was a little bit just faking it because he he seen Isuku laugh because when he's Momo, when he was when he's with Momo, he's more happier. As, as when Isuku reached, mm, went to his seat, Mr. Isawa started to explain to explain about the sport festival that they had a two weeks off to train. As Isuku started to train, as Isuku trained on getting us trying to master his power of his Kaguye, as at as in the second week of as the in the second week of the break to train, Izuku started seeing Momo a lot more. And yes guys, the shipping for this for this what if is Momo. So if you guys don't know you guys <laughs> I'm kidding. If you guys notice that he talks a lot to her when I said he talks a lot to her, yes, the ship is Momo. As uh, so when Isuku, as uh, so Isuku started talking to Momo and seeing her a lot more, as uh, so one day, around the second week of training, Isuku and Momo were training uh, at a forest that Isuku found, uh, be uh, on a forest behind the park. As uh, so Isuku and Momo were training, Isuku stopped and stop and told Momo, "I have to say something to, to I have to say something to you." As Momo came forward, as Momo came forward, came forward, and Isuku told her, without without stuttering, uh, without stuttering, he asked her, "Would you like to go on the date with me?" As Momo, as Momo's face turned red as a tomato, as he noticed it, and he was, and he started laughing, laughing at his head, and he showed a smile. As Momo said, I would love to. I would love to. As Deku, as Deku was, Deku was happy about it. Uh, and yes, there was at least there was at least four of the girls from class one they spying on him. Mm, let's say who it was. J. 
Jiro, Ur no, not five, I'm sorry, three, three girls. Jiro, Uraraka, and Mina. Because Uraraka wanted the people to help to spy, spy on them. As Jiro heard what Izuku asked Momo, as Jiro was happy for him. But when she told Uraraka and Mina, they were both sad. So sad. Even Uraraka, the girl that cheated on Deku, was happy, was sad that he wanted his men back. And I was like, oh, and I'm saying in my head, even though, even though I'm the creator of this, I am still surprised that a cheater wanted it. A, che a cheater wants his ex boyfriend back. And yes, as we cut back to Izuku, Mom, Izuku laying close for a kiss from Izuku. As Izuku was shocked. Uh, and then she just went with the flow and kissed her as they were both kissing. Jiro, Uraraka, and Mina were both surprised that they just kissed. As, as, as Jiro was happy for them, on the other side, Uraraka and Mina weren't happy. As we cut, as we cut. To, as we cut back from two hours later, Isuku was getting ready for his day. As guys, I'm gonna take quite away. Sorry, got my throat hurt a bit. As, as we cut back to the part where Isuku was getting ready for his day. And yes, guys, the clothes that you see on the screen that that you see Isuku's wearing, that's the clothes that he's wearing for for his day. And yes, guys, you can imagine a dress that Momo should, could be wearing. As Isuku and Momo went to the mall, to went to the mall, they went to watch movies. After the movies, in one scene of the movie, Momo was getting scared as she clenched and clenched into Isuku's arm. As Isuku was surprised about this, and just let her have, have let her have it. As he, as when the movie is over, he, Momo and Izuku went to have dinner. As, 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 so after the dinner, Izuku and Momo went back home. It was like, let's just say, nine of the nine of the night. Simple, right? Yeah. As, as Is, Izuku and Momo. Uh, Izuku and Momo went to Momo's home as Momo yeah. came home late. Momo was, saw that everything was dark, so she told Izuku to come in. Guys, they're not gonna do anything. Don't worry, they're not gonna do anything. <laughs> they're not gonna do anything, okay? As is, as Momo and, he, and him went inside, Momo's mom was waiting for her on this on her on a chair in the living room. As when they were about to sit to go to the living room, boom, a light turned on and it was Momo's mother. As Momo's mother said, where were you, young lady? As, Mo as, Momo, as Momo said, I was just on a day with, my f with Isuzu. As Momo's mother said, what are you going to do later this night? As Momo said, we were just going to go sit on the couch. As Momo's mother was was shocked, was shocked, was surprised, and a bit, and a bit proud of her daughter. She was looking at Isuku up to up up to bottom, not the bottom that you guys might be thinking. As is as Isuku noticed this and was like, "Oh, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Izuku Midoriya." As she's as Momo's mother was like, oh, so you're the Izuku Midori my daughter has been talking about. As Momo, as Momo was had a red tomato face on, as as Momo's mother started laughing, saying, "So she does. So, so this is the man she was talking about." Same does in her head, Momo's mother. As Momo, as Momo said, "Okay, mom," and me and. Me and Izuku here are going outside. Outside, uh, are going 
to my room. As Momo's mother said, make sure not to do anything you're not supposed to do until you're 18 years old. <laughs> as, Izuku, as Izuku blushed, and Momo blushed even harder than him. As Momo and Izuku went to her room. As Izuku was sitting by the balcony, looking at the sky. As Momo came in. Came. And Momo told Izuku, if you want, you can stay here tonight. As is as... And Izuku was like, okay, was like, okay, I'll call my mom and tell her. And Izuku called her and his mom and told her. And she was, and she agreed to this and said, okay. As Izuku took off his jacket, the wearing seat on the screen, and, and, and started talking to Momo. As Momo said to Izuku, Izuku, can I ask you something? As Izuku said, as Momo said, I mean, I'm sorry. As Momo said, will you be my boyfriend? <laughs> I am, guys, I'm not very good with girl boys because my voice is deep. You may notice, you might have noticed that. As, mm, as Isuku was shocked for this question, as he said, I will be your boyfriend. As, <laughs> as Isuku and, as Isuku and uh, Momo started kissing, and yes, there was cameras, and there was audio. Momo's mother and father were hearing this. Holy as crap! Momo, Momo's father was happy for her, and Momo's mother <laughs> was happy for her too. God, guys, if you guys don't, if you guys are not laughing after this, I imagine if you guys could imagine what I'm doing for this, it'll be so funny. As they started kissing and his mom and dad said, oh, mm -mm. this part of we're not meant to see it. That's their privacy. As they <laughs> shut the camera off. And yes. And yes. Still. As we cut to the next day, Isuku and mom, as Isuku woke up with, with a headache saying, Ugh, what happened? As he got up, as he almost, as he wanted to get up, and he felt something heavy on his butt on top of him. Not like on top of him, okay? As Isuku looked and saw Momo laying on his chest as he was surprised. And he was smiling as he just <laughs> kissed her on the forehead and moved himself and went downstairs. Went downstairs to make breath make breakfast. As he made breakfast for his whole fam for the Momo's whole family. For everyone in the for everyone in Momo's house. I know that's Momo's rich but who cares? As then as Danny Suku as Danny Suku as Danny Suku left a note to, Mo, to Momo saying thank you for letting me stay the night. As Mom as as Momo woke up a few minutes later, Momo went was looking for Isuku and then she decided to go downstairs to the kitchen as she saw a note saying, thank you for letting me stay over. I just got up and went home to get ready for for training this afternoon. This for training late this afternoon as Momo was Guys, if you're hearing somebody talk, that's my brother fighting with my other brother. I'm sorry if you guys hear background noise. As 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 Izuku went back home and told his mother what happened, as she was very proud of him that he finally found someone that actually loved him. As Izuku as Izuku was happy too. As guys, I'm gonna have to drink water. I'm sorry. As Izuku. As Isuku got ready for the afternoon, as he went to Momo's house and started training with her, as Momo, tra as Momo trained with him, as Momo and him were training, Momo was throwing him objects that are really hard to break through and things that can give him more durability. As Momo was training on, on her quirk to, to make it that she has to eat less stuff to, to make more stuff faster than usual. As the two weeks went by quickly. Over these two weeks, Momo, Momo and Izuku were getting to know each other much better. And then 
They officially made that they were dating. Mo Momo's father already knew about it, so he agreed about it. He told Momo the next before the day they had to return to school that he knew who is Isuku and he know what they did as Momo was embarrassed and she was saying he, she was about to say something to her dad saying dad i know you're not gonna approve and then he put a hand on top of her and said pat no he put a hand on his her on her, her and pat her and said i agree of this of this boy dating my daughter as he as momo was happy the next day uh class 1a isuku came into class and everyone on the Everyone was shocked to see Momo and Isuku holding hand. As then Todoroki went up to Momo and went up to Momo and said, "Why are you holding hands with Isuku?" As she said, "I'm dating him." <laughs> As Uraraka came and Uraraka came and said, "Why are you dating my man?" As Bakuga was sad, she didn't thought of him as his man. As she didn't thought of him as Bakugo as her, as her boyfriend. As he's, as I'm gonna have to make this. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm sorry for the people who don't like these type of scenes. As Momo slapped slappy slapped Isuku, but she couldn't. Isuku grabbed her hand and kissed her and told her, "If I am not cheating on you, she's my ex." You can ask my mom. As Momo looked into his eye and saw and saw hatred, anger towards <laughs> Mom, towards Uraraka and Bakugo and everyone in class, and except her and Aizawa. As, as, as Momo said, I'm sorry for trying to slap you. As he said, it's okay. You didn't know about you didn't know about us. And yes, guys, when when Uraraka kissed Baku in front of Deku, um, no. When Uraraka started dating Baku, go Momo wasn't in school. She was sad that Deku was in jail. So that's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, when. Um, when Momo, when Momo saw Isuku's face happy that she was happy, she then asked them, can we go take a seat? Yes, they both went to sit down. Everyone was staring at them, giving Momo jealous looks as, as every boy in the class was giving Deku glares of hatred <laughs> and anger. Oh God, I imagine those glares as... As Deku struck them off, as Mr. Isawa came and said the the sport festival will be in a few hours and told them to put on their PE uniforms. As we cut to the sport festival, as Isuku as they were starting the running the race, Isuku Isuku and the other guys were getting ready to run. As Midnight said, go. Isuku just jumped, jumped over every obstacle and made it to the end. As, as Isuku, as Midnight yelled, Isuku Midoriya, winner of the first round. As everyone was shocked. As then Isuku deactivated his his Kagune Kagune, and as we go to the cavalry battle, nobody wanted to be with Isuku. As Isuku, as Momo wanted to be with him, but she was helping Mina. As Isuku told her, "Go ahead and help your friend. Don't worry about me." As Isuku activated his Kagune and went, as as he was. As he was floating from the ground. Not like actually floating. His Kagoji was holding him off the ground. As everyone was surprised. What type of quirk. Everyone was saying. What type of quirk does this kid have? As Midnight said go. Deku used one of his Kagoji. And grab. And grab. Momo's. And not Momo's team's. 
team's headband. He went for Bakugo's team headband because they were coming towards him as he grabbed Bakugo's, he grabbed Todoroki's, and he grabbed Linda and left only Kendall team, team and Momo's team to be to be in the race. And yes, Bakugo and the others still had enough points to go for the one-on-one -on -one battles. As we go to the first round, as everything goes according to the anime on the one-on-one -on -one battles, Intel, Deku versus Todoroki. Deku in this one didn't encourage Todoroki to use his fire side. Todoroki used his fire side because of jealousy that Deku, Deku has more power than him. And it's going to become a better hero. So he decided to use his fire attack. As Endeavor just flared up all his fire and happiness. As Izuku saw this and was pissed. As he tell as he has be he appeared in front of in front of Endeavor with fast with enough speed to crack your to break your chest apart. As he activated a Kagune and grabbed Grab Endeavor and told them, you sit down and don't do anything. You, as Endeavor was looking into Isuku one red eye and was scared. As Isuku put him down and went back to the and went back to the fight and started fighting with with Todoroki. As Todoroki was about to use his final attack, as Isuku. Activate his Kagune and right in the right in the right about the time Todoroki shot the eyes at him, about in the time where Cementos had it to use his quirk to block it. As as everyone thought Izuku was dead, as as Todoroki was as they saw the smoke getting clear out, as they saw Todoroki at a wall. And they saw Izuku holding a punch with his hands on his pocket in front of the spot of Todoroki as they all as they all as they all were shocked. All all of the audience mouth went went down. Some of the people's jaw dropped. All oh, some of the people started started saying what type of quirk does this kid have? As Midnight yelled, Izuku Midoriya, the winner! As Izuku got off the stage, jumping straight to where Momo was at, and he landed there and sat down with her. As every girl in the stadium was a bit, a bit, 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 bit jealous about this. As Deku saw this and shrugged it off and sat next to Momo. So yeah guys, this is where I'm gonna end it. I'm sorry that it's only 28 minutes long, so this is gonna be a short one for now. As uh, I'm gonna be making part three maybe Saturday Sunday? Yeah, maybe Sunday. If you guys want me to make part part three part two of what if Deku was an ice werewolf, I'll make it, but I'm gonna try to make part three for this series too. Uh, okay guys, this was Phantom Duels here, and I'm gonna end it up here. Bye.